looks like a mid player. The mid. No hard feelings. One enemy remaining. Nice. Mid. Right. Give me that. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Disrupt Gaming video. I'm Carnage and today I'm going to teach you how to get more kills in Valorant. Be sure to comment down below and answer the question of the day, which is what is your highest kill ranked game in Valorant? Personally, I dropped 33 kills in one game one time, and that is the highest I was ever able to get. So let me know down in the comment section down below which one is your highest. Without any further ado, let's not stretch this out. Let's get directly into our first tip to get you more kills in Valorant, and that is going to be always be second and kind of bait your teammates a little bit. Now, let me explain what this means because you don't want to just blatantly bait your teammates. That's not helpful for your team, but you also don't want to be the entry frag. Now, the entry fragger's job is usually to go in, get that information. They're the first person to push in, and they a lot of times might pick up a kill, but they will usually die because they're pushing into the unknown, especially on attacking side. Now, if you're the second player, you're playing a support agent such as Brimstone or Omen, maybe even the new agent Sky, you're able to go in second behind that entry fragger and able to pick up the kills that the entry fragger couldn't because they were distracted by all the different enemies that could have peaked them. So when you go in second, you're able to get that information from your entry fragger, capitalize on it, and that is the person that is going to be able to get those kills. Now, like I said, don't completely bait your teammates because that is not what we want to do here. You still want to be helpful for your team, but definitely be there to trade the kill whenever your entry fragger does die. Now, next we have our tip number two, and I touched on this one a little bit while I was talking in that previous tip, but play an agent that allows for this play style. This going in second type of play style is a very important and very specific agent that you have to play. And like I said, a Brimstone, an Omen, even a Sky works for this. A Killjoy or Cypher works decently well. But the main things that you want to focus on is pick an agent and think, how can I help my teammates if I'm going in second? So as a Phoenix, if you're going in second, you're going in behind your teammates and you flash out. Well, you're going to flash your teammates and you're going to flash the enemies. There isn't much that you can really do. That's why Phoenix is a great entry fragger. Now, if we look at the opposite end of it, let's think about Brimstone. So Brimstone going in second, he can sit back, he can wait, get his smokes ready so that when the entry fragger pushes in, he's getting some helpful smokes down. The angles are being blocked off. And that entry fragger is helped by this and the brimstone can then push in, maybe toss a Molotov somewhere. Overall, that brimstone is favored if he is the second one, the third one, the fourth one to go in rather than being the first one to go in. So what I would recommend is to look at what agent you're playing right now. See if that agent allows for this play style. If it does, take this play style and try it out in a couple of your games and see if you're able to pick up some more kills with it. If your agent is something like Phoenix that doesn't allow for this though, even Jet doesn't allow for this very well, if you play one of these types of agents, then what you need to do is focus on being an entry fragger and really try and pick up those first couple of kills because it is still possible to get kills as an entry fragger. It is just much more difficult. So maybe think about switching the agent you're playing or if you are really dead set on an entry fragging agent, go ahead, play them and focus on some of these other tips especially tip number three that I'm about to teach you, and that is crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is the most important way to get more kills in Valorant. And before I explain exactly why, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, I need you to go ahead, scroll down real quick, drop a like, and subscribe to the Disrupt Gaming channel because we're uploading some high-quality Valorant content every single day. Now, Tip number three, like I said, crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is basically where your crosshair is at as you play Valorant. This can be while you're in a fight, before you get into a fight, while you're holding an angle, literally at any time while you're playing Valorant, wherever your crosshair is placed on your screen. The basic fundamentals of crosshair placement are these two simple things. First, you want your crosshair at head level. If your crosshair is at head level, you only have to adjust your aim horizontally in order to pick up a headshot. Obviously, headshots are going to kill faster, so you want to aim for that head. And if your crosshair is placed at the enemy's chest to start, you have to then move your mouse vertically and horizontally 
in order to correctly hit that headshot. This is why keeping it at head level is so, so important. Now, the second tip that I have for crosshair placement, the second fundamental that you need to know is to always have your crosshair placed at an area where enemies could be peeking you. You want to be moving it constantly and checking different angles that enemies might come from. Keeping your crosshair at head level doesn't matter at all if you're aiming at the ceiling or if you're aiming at some random angle that, you know, no enemy is going to peek you from. You really need to make sure that you are aiming directly at where an enemy could come from because that is going to maximize your chance of being there and being ready for the kill. With crosshair placement, the only real way to get better at it is really just to practice it and consistently use it and consistently think, hmm, where is my crosshair at? Do I need to move it higher, lower, left, right? Should I be watching this angle? Just always be thinking to yourself, how can I make this a better situation for myself? And now crosshair placement is super important, but what might be even more important on how to get yourself more kills in Valorant is number four, and that is positioning. Your positioning in Valorant is so, so important. I've seen players that have terrible aim, terrible crosshair placement, but since they're positioned well, they're able to pick up multiple kills. Obviously, multi-fragging in a game is going to pick you up more kills than if you're only able to grab one, which is why positioning is key in Valorant. For instance, let's say we're on a map like Haven. Haven is a very good one to illustrate positioning, especially on C right here. That's a very basic site setup. You got a box here. You got platform over here. But positioning on here is going to get you so many more kills if you can learn this one simple trick. So let's say we're holding this angle right here. This is pretty good positioning. Let's say we get our first kill and we back off, right? Now it's kind of where do you go? You back off. Do you repeat this? That's a little dangerous. No, the best way to get more kills with your positioning is going to be to change it up. So after you peek over there, Maybe if you're using an agent like Jet, you can pop on up, peek it again, grab a second kill. Boom, there's two kills right there that you can grab. That's obviously going to be better than just that first one. This is how you increase your kill count with positioning. You grab that second one, maybe you're able to smoke this off, dash across, peek something else is different. Bang, there's another kill. You get back here, you hold an angle like this. Bang, you pick out a fourth kill. That's so many kills just because you're peeking areas that the enemies aren't going to expect. If you can peek a different angle every time, the enemies are going to be caught off guard because from their perspective, they're sitting here, they're peeking. They see an operator peek from this angle right here. Well, they're not going to be worried about up here. They're going to be worried about this angle right here that you just peeked from. So now if you switch it up, head up there, this is why that is such an important strategy to use with your positioning. Also, remember, you can do this on any part of any map. You can do it on B site, A site, on literally every single map. You just got to learn the different positionings as you are playing. Now for our last tip on how to get more kills in Valorant, we're going to be talking about flanking on defense. Flanking on defense is one of the strongest strategies to pick up some free kills in Valorant, and let me explain why. In Valorant, you can actually push through an area on defense and get behind the attackers. Now, if done correctly, these attackers will have no idea you're there, be completely caught off guard, and you're able to pick up some free kills without them even shooting at you. Obviously, this doesn't work out every single time, but if you can just push through and try and pick up a couple of free kills on enemies that aren't looking at you, you'll be put in a very, very good situation. Also remember, on a map like Haven, this is even more viable because there are three bomb sites. Since there are three bomb sites, this means that the enemies have a 33% chance to go to your bomb site. This means there's a 66% chance you can push through and find no opposition. This is why pushing through on Haven is especially important, and also on any other map, it can be also a very, very good strategy. All right, we just went over five of the craziest tips in order to get you more kills in Valorant. Let me know down in the comment section down below which was your favorite tip and which you think is going to be the most helpful in your games. I appreciate you all for watching to the very end of this Disrupt Gaming Guide. I am Carnage, and I will see you in the next one.